Hey everyone, my name is Sam and welcome to this online demo for the Rococo SmartSuit Pro and Smart Gloves. So this video is just going to be a quick little look at these tools. We're gonna to dive into Rococo Studio very briefly and record some mocap, but there is so much more that you can find out at rococo.com about tools like virtual production, facial motion capture, and the motion library, which is our library of motion capture assets that are available to download. So without further ado, let's jump into it. The suit and the gloves are both powered just by generic USB batteries, which I have zipped up in the back of the suit in a handy little pocket. And that means that there's no extra wires that are going anywhere. All you need to record mocap is your smart suit. You need a Wi-Fi network because everything is recorded over Wi-Fi and your computer. You don't need any cameras or anything like that to create an optical volume. Everything runs off the Wi-Fi network. And even if you don't have a Wi-Fi network available, the suit itself can create a Wi-Fi network. The suit comes in a variety of sizes. I'm 5'6", and I'm wearing a small. We also have medium, large, and extra large. The gloves come in small, medium, and large, and I'm wearing a small right now. So everything's on, powered up. I got my lights on. So let's jump into Rococo Studio and actually record something. So the first thing we'll do when we hop into Rococo Studio is we will create an actor profile. So I'll hit this plus button and I will put in my name. I can select a color if I want. I'm going to stick with green. And then I'm gonna enter my height, so 66 inches. As soon as I do that, all of these other measurements will be filled in automatically. However, if you want to get really granular, you can go in and manually input foot length, arm span, all of these different measurements. In general though, it's fine if you just input your height and all of those other measurements will be filled out according to kind of typical body proportions. So as soon as I put in my height, I can hit save body profile. It saves. There we go, we have our little Sam actor profile and now we'll just drag it into our demo project and open up our demo project. So as soon as you do, you can see that we have some weird little floating things happening here. And that's because my suit and my gloves are turned on and paired with the computer, but they aren't paired with that actor profile that we just created with my height. So in order to do that, I'm just going to drag in my gloves onto the actor profile as well as my suit. And as soon as we do that, there you go. There's our character and we're ready to record some mocap. So we only have one calibration pose that you need to do. We call it a straight pose. It's super easy to do and we recommend, you know, generally you do it before you record anything. So I'll just click perform straight pose and I'm just gonna stand in a neutral position, my feet width length apart with my hands just resting gently on my sides. And there you go. As soon as we do that, now we're looking really good and we can record some mocap. So let's actually record something here. I'm just gonna hit record and we'll do a little you know, peace sign, little finger waggles, and then maybe you know, kind of doing some boxing and we'll try a little karate kick. There we go, okay, let's check that out. So I'll hit stop. And then as soon as I hit stop, you can see that we have this new take, take four has disappeared and we will double click it, open it up and we can review our mocap immediately. So it looks pretty good and we'll check out our actual movement here. This all looks very accurate. So a little bit of oddness there on the kick and we can fix that actually because one of the best parts about Rococo Studio is that we've built in a lot of tools that make cleanup really easy. So let's take a little peek at this karate kick right here. And if you check out at the bottom here, these green and blue bars represent foot contact with the ground. So the green bar represents my left foot and the blue bar represents my right foot. So if we check out this little area right here and we can actually turn this little checkbox on and we can visualize in the scene, you can see that Rococo Studio thinks that my foot was on the ground when it was actually in the air. So we need to get rid of this little keyframe, which is easy to do. I'm just gonna select the keyframe, drag it back, get rid of it. And now we want to make sure that when I land, 
which I think is actually around here. We'll just drag this back a little bit and we'll extend this out. And then we'll hit process changes. And now when we take a peek, we can see if there's any improvement. Boom, there we go, there's our karate kick. Play that back again. Looks great. So we have a bunch of other tools that are there to help correct any foot drifting or anything that might happen. And it's super easy to do all that within Rococo Studio in just a couple of clicks. And that was a big part of making the system the best possible motion capture, you know, inertial system that we could create. So now if we want to export this out, it's super easy. We'll just right click on our take, hit export. And then we have a ton of different options for exporting out our motion capture. We can uh, choose an FBX, a BVH, CSV, C3D, depending on the program you're working in. I'm going to select an FBX. You can select whether or not you want to include a body mesh. Say if you're working in Unreal Engine 4, that can be useful sometimes. I'm going to leave it as a binary FBX. And then you can also select what type of skeleton your mocap is exported out with. We have a couple different options, a Rococo uh, default skeleton that's ours, Maya Human IK, which is pretty standard, 3ds Max biped, and also a Mixamo skeleton. I'm gonna leave it on Maya Human IK. And then we can also select our FPS. I'm gonna leave it at 30, hit export. And it'll do a little bit of processing. And there we go. Our mocap is now exported and we can bring it into whatever program we're working in and we can use it in our workflow and just keep moving. So if I hit X, if I X out of our export options and I X out of this take, we're still up and running. You know, everything stays connected. It's, uh, it's super, you know, everything, you just have to plug in your suit each time you create mocap and you should automatically connect to the computer and you can just keep moving and keep creating. So. The last thing that I actually wanna go over is how easy it is to set up our facial mocap system. To use our facial mocap, you just need an iPhone 10 or higher, and then you can download our app for free on the App Store. And then my uh, iPhone is just on the same Wi-Fi network as my computer, so I'll open up our app, and as soon as I do that, we get this little prompt in Rococo Studio. You can see up here, this little green dot. And then I'm gonna select Rococo Remote, connect, as soon as I do that, I will get a prompt on my iPhone. I'll hit accept. And then I will turn on face capture. And as soon as I do that, you can see that a little face has appeared in Rococo Studio. So I'll drag that face onto my actor profile. And there you go. Now we are streaming body, uh, hands, and facial motion capture um, all in the same system you know, to Rococo Studio and it's all synced up together, and now we can start creating full performance motion capture. So we hope this was helpful for everyone. Again, this is just meant to scratch the surface and give you a little basic preview of our tools and what's possible uh, you know, using them. You can go to rococo.com to find out tons of more information, and more importantly, you can always book a live demo with our customer service team, where you can ask questions in real time, have them demo the suit for you in real time, and that can help you uh, figure out if this system is going to work with your workflow and your needs as you move forward in the mocap world. Thanks so much, everyone. Bye-bye.